Woo! Coming into your YouTube airwaves, I'm Vaughn, the Stat Man, and welcome to the Stat Room. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Vaughn the Stat Man, and you can follow me on Twitter at Vaughn the Stat Man. And guys, check out my website, VaughnTheStatMan.com. All right, guys, so the second night in a row, the original lineup was on fire. All right, guys, so I'm going to break down this nine game slate in a minute. But, guys, watch this video till the end, because at the end of this video, I give two prize picks. So that's something that I'm getting into is the prize picks. So, all right, guys. So without wasting any more of you guys time, let's do a quick recap and then let's break down this video and I'll give you a free line again. Guys, so here's a quick recap. The Soma gave us 18.1. Brown 36, Reeves 37. You had Hachimura with 15 and Davis at 54. So guys, you might want to just run the original line. So before I begin this video, guys, please hit that like button. Please subscribe to my channel and also leave a comment, guys. Thank you. Let's get into it. All right, guys, let's break down this nine game slate. On nine game slates, guys, again, I do the same principle that I do on any other slate. Nine game slates, I actually like the seven to nine game slates the best. The 13 game slates, I only do double ups because it's almost impossible to even cash in those games because you got to get nine players right oh out of like 200 players but today same principle guys find three games you like and put your players in and roll with the punches the thing about dfs guys guys get ejected Doncha got ejected i mean good thing we didn't have them in our lineup but there will be a time that players that we have will get ejected we had anthony davis last night he would have got 60 plus fantasy points, but he picked up two fouls in the first three minutes of the game. So that happens in DFS, guys. The good is when we have a 300 point lineup. The bad is when guys get in foul trouble, guys miss shots. I mean, they're human, guys. Um, everyone that's watching this video has had a bad day at the office. These guys are allowed to have bad days as well. So guys, let's break it down real quick, guys. At the point guard position, guys, you got Halliburton at Milwaukee. Point guards are absolutely killing Milwaukee. So if you are going to run someone at 11,000, Halliburton is the safest play. You have Young. If Young doesn't play, Mary is a must start. All right, so you got Lillard. I don't like Lillard against Halliburton. Guys, I'm giving you Tyrese Maxey. I absolutely love Tyrese Maxey, guys, in his matchup. I think that he is going to go crazy. Guys have just been killing Detroit, guys. So I'm going to give you Maxi, and I'm going to give you a few players from this game. I'm also going to give you Melton. Shooting guards have had phenomenal days against this team. And I'm not saying that he is as good as Memphis shooting guard, but he is really, really good. Bain put up 70 fantasy points on this team. I think Milton can give us 40. I'm also going to put in Kelly Oubre. Because I believe that this game is going to get out of control. And I believe Kelly Oubre is going to play the whole fourth quarter in this matchup. All right, guys. So let's go back and go through the rest of the, the lineups. Rozier has been doing pretty well, guys, against Miami. So I like that matchup. You got McCullum against the Wizards. Um, I actually like this New Orleans-Washington game. This is the game that I'm going to stack the rest of my players. But I do like Van Vliet at home against Memphis. I think Van Vliet goes for 45. Brunson is not going to have to do much against a very poor Utah defense. Mary is a must start, guys. Again, if Mary is the starter, if Mary is out, I mean, if Mary is a starter and Young is out, you have to run Mary. Beals on a second night of a back-to-back. -back. Don't like that matchup. Don't like this Brooklyn team on the road, even though they fought hard in their last game. Just don't like them on the road. Don't like Russell on the second night of a back-to-back. -back. I absolutely love Green against Memphis. But like I said, guys, I'm going to give you the players that I like. So at my point guard, guys, I'm going to give you Alvarado. I believe Alvarado is going to play the whole fourth quarter. I think they're going to get up big on the Wizards. So I'm going to give you Alvarado because I believe he's going to finish this game. At my shooting guard position, guys, I'm giving you Herb Jones. I think Herb Jones is going to have a, like three steals, a block, 
probably 10 points, eight rebounds. I think he goes for 40 points. His defensive prowess is something that you must have. And I'm going to give you Ingram in this matchup. I think he just goes crazy. And it looked like Zion will not play. So if Zion is out, Valanchunas will dominate the glass. All right, guys. So at the power forward position, guys, we can go back and look at everyone else. Ante de Kumpo is 12,000. I can't play Ante de Kumpo at 12,000. I don't think he gets 60 fantasy points. And when you pick a player at 12,000, 60 is not going to help you to win, ladies and gentlemen. You need 70 from him. Now, if you believe he'll get 70, but then to counter his high price tag, you have to find a guy at 3.8 that can get you 25. Because if you get him, and let's say he gets 58, and then you have to play that player at 3.9, and that guy gets you nine points, you're done. So if you want to take that chance, that's on you. I don't like Anthony Davis on the second night of a back-to-back. -back. I wouldn't be shocked if he absolutely sits. Him or LeBron probably will sit. When Yami is going to have a big game, but I'm giving you Barnes, guys. I absolutely love Barnes in this matchup, guys. I believe Barnes is going to go crazy against Atlanta. And for my last play, guys, you got Harris. Good play. You got Washington. But, guys, I'm giving you Hartstein. Hartstein comes off the bench. And against Utah, Hartstein will play the whole fourth quarter. Hartstein should go for 40 in this matchup, guys. This lineup I'm not going to change, guys. I will come back and adjust the five studs. Like I, like I said, the only adjustment will be if Mary is starting and Young. Well, Mary starts, but if Young is not playing, then you want to put in Mary. But other than that, guys, I broke down this slate. I love this, this lineup. This lineup will do over 314 points, guys. And if everybody can give me about three to five points over what I'm expecting them to do, now you're talking about this lineup could possibly do a 340. And if they do six points over, you talk about a 375 and you can possibly take down. So I love it, guys. You got Valanchunas, Hartstein, Barnes, Ingram, Oubre, Jones, Melton, Alvarado, and Maxi. All right, guys. So that's it, guys. So guys, don't forget, stay, stay tuned to the end of this video because I will give you two free prize picks. So guys, so I'm going to do these prize picks and then I'll finish off the video prize picks i'm taking maxi over 26.5 points and Embiid over 11.5 rebounds so that's it guys so guys don't forget to win win that means give people what they want so you can get what you want and guys don't forget to think in ink that means write it down so that way it can come true good hunting on this big slate love you guys you made it this far don't forget to subscribe and like the video and also leave a comment thank you guys again love you guys